everybody, I am back. I just got back from Europe. I went to London, well I went to England and Spain and it was absolutely fantastic. I've been to London countless times and it's my favorite city in the world, but I highly encourage you all to go to Spain if you haven't been already. I fell in love with that country. The food was incredible. Cava was cheaper than water, which I love, and the people were fantastic and the fashion was out of this world. So, I am actually working on an England and Spain vlog right now. I'm actually going to cut them into two videos because I have so much to work with. Uh, I'm furiously editing away right now and I really hope to get this up by the weekend, but we will see. It's... I took a whole lot of video, more than I expected. So, this video in the meantime is about Fenty Beauty. I was super excited when I landed in Marbella. Uh, my cousin took me to a Sephora there and <laughs> it's really funny, but <laughs> since there are no black people in Marbella, the Fenty Beauty was fully stocked at the Sephora. When I left, um, you know what, I can't remember if the uh, Fenty Beauty had dropped before I left. I left in early September, but I was all over social media while on vacation and I saw that it was selling out everywhere. So when I got to that Sephora in Marbella, my cousin and I were so excited to see so much of it. So I bought a few of the products and this video is just a quick review on what I got. So what did I get? I got the um, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter and I got the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. So, um, sorry, this one is in Trophy Wife, this highlighter. And uh, you can see there the colors. I'll be testing them out on my skin in this video so that you guys can see a true sense of how they look, but I am loving both of them. I am not a big highlighter girl, actually. I found it really hard to find a good highlighter for my skin. I actually did find one in Becca, Becca's Topaz, I love that. I've been binging on it because it's nice and subtle. The Kilowatt by Fenty Beauty is like, I'm going to Vegas or I'm going to a party in South Beach. It is glitzy and glam, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I also got the, what do I have here? The Match Sticks Shimmer Skin Stick in Cinnamon. This one is gorgeous and confetti. So we're gonna talk about confetti here for a bit because I fear that <laughs> it isn't for my skin tone whatsoever, but I'm going to make this work because it was not cheap. Anyways, let's get to testing this out. I don't have any blush on or any highlighter at all. By the way, I'm so sorry if I look kind of greasy in this video. My skin is so dry after baking in the sun in Spain. I know, I need to stop doing that. So I've got some um, face oil on. My skin is just drinking it up, but enough blabbering. Let's get on with this review. Okay, so Rihanna killed it with the packaging of these products. They look white, but they're actually a really pretty, like, opalescent purple, and my camera is not picking up on this whatsoever, but get your butt to a Sephora so that you can see what it looks like in real life if you haven't checked them out already. So let's start out with the Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge um, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. So I'm gonna try them uh, with my um, Bobbi Brown, just, just a simple blush brush. This is how it looks. So um, this is Ginger Binge. It's a little lighter, but a really pretty kind of like pinky coppery tone. And this one is Moscow Mule and it's super glittery. Okay, let's see how these look. So I've been using these quite a bit. My cousin is the one who got me into this because when she picked me up, well, picked us up, my husband and I in Marbella, she was wearing this blush and it just looked so pretty on her. Um, we both have dark skin. It really popped on her though. And I was like, what is that that you're wearing? And she's like, oh, it's Fenty Beauty. So I'm like, oh my God, where did you get this? So that's when she took me to this Sephora. So you can see it's a very light tone. I'm just going to add a little more right on the apple. I'm gonna smile like a freak. 
There we go. I love it. It's just really subtle and pretty. I'm putting it up there. Definitely has um, a subtle shimmer to it. Love it. I think that this would look great on a whole lot of different skin tones, okay? So I've got this NARS, um, I think it's called Kabuki brush, or it has a strange name. Um, but I like it because it's light and fluffy, and I use it for all of my highlighters. So... So I would use a light hand with this stuff unless you really, really like highlighter because it's got like a chunky glitter in it. I don't want to go too overboard. I have an event tonight, so I don't want to look too much like a glitter ball. And I'm just, just at the tops of the cheeks, just a little, and I think, oh. Oh, I hope the camera is picking that up because I am loving it. I'm just going to put a little there. Oh, so nice. Love it. Way to go, Rihanna. Okay, so get ready for this. It's like a true gold. Like, if I had a gold bar, I'm assuming this is what it would look like. So how I've been applying this actually is just with my finger on my brow bone and then I'll use a fine brush to put some right in the corners of my eyes. It's really pretty. So just a little on my finger. Look at that. Bananas. I'm so excited. There we go. Just, I'm just tapping lightly. I just want that subtle, just a little subtle look. Nothing too crazy. Guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just happy that I got my hands on some of this stuff. So please go easy on me in the comments. <laughs> if you have any tips and tricks on how to apply highlighter so that it looks awesome, please don't hesitate to let me know, okay? And um, here is the little brush that I use to do them in the corner of my eye. Can't get it open. <laughs> okay, so just slightly. So I'm gonna blend that a bit because I think maybe I went a little overboard. So I'm really digging this look. For me, it's subtle and radiant. I feel that these two products really give you a healthy, beautiful glow. I'm very, very happy with this stuff. Again, Rihanna, well done, girl. I love you. Okay, so these matchsticks. Um, like I said, I got them in cinnamon and uh, confetti. Okay, I'm gonna start with confetti. So this is like a lilac color and I I gotta say, I was just so excited to touch down in Marbella. So excited to go to a Sephora and see that they had the full range of Fenty Beauty. And so excited to see my cousin that I just went a little bananas and, and just bought everything without really thinking. I, a long time ago, I had a really nice lilac shadow and um, I let it run out and never bought it again. And it looked like this stuff. So this stuff is pretty much white, but um, it's got a really nice lilac opalescent sheen. So, if you are Snow White, <laughs> this will look great on you, especially uh, there. This is, in my opinion, just too light. It goes on too ashy on black skin. But I have been using it as an eyeshadow, and it's not bad. So I'm not going to use it now because I've done my makeup for this event, and I, I don't want to screw it up. But I'm going to test it out on my hands so that you can see what it looks like. So you see that it is pretty cool. Um, maybe some of my diehard makeup artist viewers can give me some more ideas on how to use this. I actually had a clear gloss on the other day and put a little bit of this on the Cupid's bow of my lips and it, it looked pretty cool. But you know, it, it is really pretty. I don't regret buying it, but I bought it to use as a highlighter and I don't know what I was thinking, but I do like it. Cinnamon, on the other hand, is 
Um, I love this. This is, ugh, this is so gorgeous. This is the color. Look at that. Like, if I could use this all over my body, I would. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I've used it actually as a highlighter and as a bit of a blush and as a lipstick and on the brow bone. It is beautiful, beautiful. So here's how it looks. I'm sorry, again, I'm not gonna put any on, but um, I will do a full face and throw the pictures up on my Instagram. So keep an eye on my Instagram, at Style Domination, okay? So here's how it looks on my hand. So it's just got a really nice coppery, gold finish. Um, I love it. It's subtle, yet sometimes when it hits the light, it is just like this lame gold fabulousness. Oh my god, I'm so veiny. It's so gross. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, cinnamon. Damn. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Have you tried Fenty Beauty? What do you think of it? What is your favorite product in the line? I would love, love to know. Have you tried the foundation? Girls, Guys, let me know how you like it because I'm desperate to try it. I'm thinking I'll just order about three colors on the Sephora website if it's in stock and I'll return whatever doesn't suit me. So if you liked this video, please give me the big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel also. I would love that. Thank you a million times over. I just hit 4,000 subscribers, I believe, this morning. Please check out my Instagram, at Style Domination. I put up a ton of fashion shots, beauty shots, accessory shots, you name it. Don't forget to check out my blog, styledomination.com. Again, a lot of fashion and I love to write, so yeah, check it out. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.